Good morning. Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do y'all daily reading. Oh my God, y'all. Like, I've been so busy. I'm sleepy as a motherfucker, but I'm on this motherfucker to give y'all what y'all need. Okay, period. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and we gonna get into this daily message collective. So, and I got coffee, but this probably not gonna help because I'm real sleepy. So, um, collect. So, message. Um, I got a download from my spirit guys, and they said God's favor hit different. So I don't know what the fuck they mean for today, but it had me excited. I'm like, you know what? Y'all show sure right. You heard the beeping. That's like some type of truck outside or something. But yeah, they said God's favor hit different. So one eleven on the timer is something coming, y'all. Like y'all probably feel it in y'all energetic field too. But I feel like something good is coming. I don't know what it is though. But anyway, overall energy for today is the two of swords. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you are out here. When I first um looked at this card first thing that came to mind was hear no evil see no evil so a lot of y'all are just ignoring the negativity ignoring the bullshit ignoring the dumb shit like you just don't want that type of energy like around you you don't want to hear about it the two of swords is like blocking energy um for you air signs you can feel like somebody is ignoring you or blocking you out or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you could be doing this to somebody today. Um, collective, if you are in a relationship, you and this person may not be speaking. Um, yeah, I'm hearing silent treatment. So you and your person are giving giving each other the silent treatment for whatever reason. Um, but I feel like y'all really want to talk to each other. Or collective, like I said, for some of you collective, the ones that are single and, you know, you're waiting on the divine to align you with your person, you know, a whole new brand new situation. I feel like this could be his past person and whoever it is that they left you for, man or woman. These two people are not even talking to each other like they could live together, sleep in the same bed, but they don't speak. They both just back turns, be on their phones like each other don't even exist. So, take it as it resonates. Okay, we going to get into it. We got signs, synchronicity. So, yeah. Didn't I say I feel like something good was coming? So, y'all could be seeing a lot of angel numbers today because that's like spirit like telling you that something good is on the way or something good is getting ready to happen. But like I said, y'all, I don't know what it is. But you could be getting a lot of signs, synchronicity. Spirit is really talking to you today. Others of you, whoever this person is that's stuck in this relationship and you block them or you're ignoring them or whatever the fuck this is, um, they're seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities too. So this person could be seeing your name a lot or they're seeing shit that reminds them of you, all that type of shit. Um, then we got racing and avoiding. So yeah, y'all are like literally like avoiding somebody. It's like, you don't want to see this person. You don't want to talk to them. You don't want to go past their house. You don't want to go by where they used to work it. It's like, you're just ignoring it, any and everything that has to do with this person. So like, you know how somebody's like trying to manifest you and shit and you try to start, you might start to see that person's name pop up everywhere and shit. I feel like if this person is like telepathically trying to communicate with you, you're blocking this shit out too, two of swords. Um yeah we literally got outcast out here so you're outcasting somebody especially um what i want to say libra and aquarius air signs you're out here because i feel like big boy and andre 3000 both are air signs but i don't remember i think big boy might be a libra and andre 3000 is an aquarius but y'all have to double check that I know both of them are air signs for sure, but I don't know which combination. I don't know if this is Libra Aquarius or Aquarius Gemini. It's one of the two, but I know for a fact Andre 3000 is an Aquarius. 
But Big Boy is a Libra or a Gemini. I just can't remember which one. But Air Signs, y'all are out here. Um, it says elevators, black sheep, aliens. Uh, for some of you, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you can be like, I don't know, you can have like one friend or one homeboy, one homegirl that you fuck with. For some of y'all, y'all could do music with this person or you're thinking about doing some type of collaboration with this person. Um, but it says so fresh and so clean duo prototype 3000. Sorry, Miss Jackson, big boy. So somebody out here could be trying to get advice from a friend or something. Yeah, somebody out here could be trying to get advice from a friend on how they, um, this person is trying, whoever this is, I'm pretty sure it's this past person, but this person is trying to get some sort of advice or trying to figure out how they could reach out to you. Like, I don't know if they may have a friend, like, reach out to you through, like, social media or something to try to message you or say something to you. It's like this person wants to get in contact with you, but you may be ignoring it. For some of you, this person that you block, they may have already sent you some sort of friend request or something, but it was, like, through somebody else's page, and maybe you didn't accept it because you didn't know who the person was. I feel like it's this person's friend. It's like this person is trying to help them get in contact with you. So I feel like this person has their friend reaching out um, through your social media or shit like that. Because this, this person feels outcasted by you. You know what I'm saying? Like this person feels like you don't want to have anything to do with them. But I feel like it's like the more that you ignore this person or block out their energy, the more they want to like talk to you. It like I feel like you ignoring this person is having the opposite effect. Like normally, like you ignore somebody or you be like or you block them and you be like, okay, I'm not fucking with you. You know, normally a person will be like, all right, shit, you know, fuck you then and going on about their business or whatever the fuck. This person, it's like the more you ignore them, the more they want to talk to you. I feel like this person is getting desperate to speak to you. So you literally could be blocking somebody or ignoring somebody, putting somebody on do not disturb, something like that. Then we got the Osley brothers out here. Uh, so collective, you definitely, especially you feminine energies, you could definitely be getting hit on or um, you could see, you could probably see like an influx of like inboxes and shit. I feel like it's more men trying to um like hit on you or like, you know, it's more men attracted to you trying to talk to you and shit. So this is more DMs, more inboxes, all that type of shit. And I feel like you're going to be like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why is there so many people in my inbox who are DMing me or trying to talk to me all of a sudden? Um, but I feel like it's this, it's this energy that you're in collective. It's this gratitude type of energy that's drawing all this shit into you. Um, these people, and that, for some of you, this person could have a friend like these two people could be friends and they both are interested in you so it's just like people are trying to see who is going to be able to like i don't know who's going to get the most attention from you who's going to get an opportunity with you collective i feel like it's a lot of thirsty motherfuckers on your ass male or female but all of these motherfuckers ain't on the up and up obviously because we got Who's that lady? It's like people are trying to figure out who are you. You know what I'm saying? It says between the sheets, sex. So a lot of these motherfuckers just want to fuck. And then it says you're contagious and heat. So be mindful because one of these people, male or female, may have like some sort of STD. So if you've been celibate or you've been abstinent and you've been keeping it to yourself because you're single and shit, continue to do that. Okay, because these people ain't talking about shit. Like, mm -mm. and then it says Isley brothers. For some of you, these people know each other. Like, they like brothers or best friends, cousins, something. Like, some of these people are, like, related and they're competing with each other over you collective. So, hell no. Nah. Like, that shit is weird. Like, you shouldn't even want to go back. You shouldn't even want to go behind somebody that you consider to be family. Like, that's, like, gross. But anyway... Give me three cards for the collective. Yeah, but a lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities, um, especially like when you come in contact with these people and shit, 
spirit may be giving you signs and synchronicities of who to avoid like literally like nah uh-uh and i feel like spirit is gonna make it loud and clear if you decide to engage with some of these people or some of these men or whoever the fuck this is spirit is gonna let you know loud and clear like uh-uh that ain't it avoid avoid abort mission abort mission <laughs> all right give me three cards for the collective let's see what the kipper talking about today the lovers yeah see a lot of these people want to choose you now it's like all kind of like thirsty men or thirsty women all of a sudden they want to be in a relationship with you the lovers card a lot of these people are feeling like all of a sudden you would be the perfect lover and shit but like i said it's because of this energy that you're in this christ-like energy is like making people want to gravitate towards you the lovers is out here gemini energy uh, it could be a counterpart, though, within the crowd of these people. But I feel like you're really going to have to use your discernment. OK, so let's see. Yeah, I'm hearing over the next month. So you could be getting approached by a lot of different people throughout the month of October real shit but i mean it makes sense it's libra season libra um is the planet of venus of romance beauty uh libra energy represents relationships and shit so it's a lot of people looking for a, a partner or a lover people are looking to get into relationships and shit because we're just in that type of energy it's libra season for one and then it's cuffing season on top of that people are trying to get prepared to be put up in the house because it's gonna be too cold to go outside depending on where you live at especially if you live like up north or like midwest and shit i mean down south like cali texas they probably don't have too much to worry about in regards to like um you know the weather changing significantly um and prayers to florida with uh the hurricane going on for sure but just in like the the states where it does really get like bitter cold outside during the winter months it's people it's cuffing season like people are trying to get into relationships find them a lover lover for the winter time they want to be booed up in the house and shit and collective this is you toil and labor you're just focused on your stability focused on your bag focused on money i feel like love is not a priority for you right now that shit is like on the back burner it's just like if somebody wants to talk to you they want to date you cool but it's like your primary focus is not on love right now but i feel like that energy is what's bringing it in the fact that you're just loving on yourself working on your finances trying to build your stability ground yourself all of that energy is making people be attracted to you you know because it's just like look at that mature male on the bottom of the mature man on the bottom of the day it's somebody who's looking at you for some of you this could be an older man um, for some of you, I feel like this person could be a teacher or a professor or I don't know. This person does something with books. For some of you, this person could work in some sort of office because look at his outfit. He's dressed like this is like a pea coat. So this person could be like a detective or something like that. They could work, work in law enforcement. Whoever this is, is uh, very seasoned. I feel like this person travels a lot or has traveled to a lot of different uh, places. Hopefully his hair is not completely great like this unless that's your preference. But it's definitely an older male that's looking at you. Yeah, it worked. Look at this. It's an older man that's looking at you, occupation, while you work and you in grind mode and shit. It's somebody looking at you. I don't know if this is at your current job or a new job, but I'm like, I'm really getting like an office setting. So if you work in like an office setting, you have an older male who's like looking at you. It could be an older female if you're a masculine energy, but it's definitely somebody looking at you. Okay. They feel like you're the, I'm hearing the perfect recipient. So I don't know what this person, I don't know what that person's intentions is, but 
you definitely didn't caught the eye of a mature male or a mature female. But I feel like it's at work. With the lovers and then toil and labor, I feel like some of you may meet this new person. It This could be your current job or a new job. But I feel like you won't even notice this person because you're going to be in such grind mode. For some of you, you this could be at your school. Because like I said, that man, that mature man on the bottom of the deck looked like a professor. So I'm like, he could be like a college professor or something. And you're just like in your books, studying, grinding, making sure you're passing all your classes and you're up on all your lessons and shit. And it's somebody here that's looking at you as the perfect lover. Like, and then with the two doves here, I feel like it is the divine connection with the doves here. Because these white doves represent like purity and shit. So this is a, a, a divine connection. I feel like your next person you're going to meet through like a work environment. Especially if it's like an office setting. Because I feel like you got people that are like approaching you in your inbox and shit and all of that. But none of these people are like in your, your type. You know what I'm saying? They're like, like, look at this. On Outcast, it says prototype right here. So it's just like these are people who want to be divine masculine, divine feminine. Or they want to be your man or they want to be your wife. But they just don't fit the bill. It's like some of these people may be attractive. Some of them may be talented. Um, some of them could be entrepreneurs and shit. Some of them may be rappers or they do something creatively. But I just feel like they're not on no serious shit. These people between the sheets and sex and heat, they just want to fuck you. So it's just like, uh, I don't think I got fucking time for this. I'm going to just mind my business and keep working until I meet somebody real. But I feel like you're going to get so like deep into your studies, deep into your work, deep into your hustle that you're not even going to notice that it's going to be some older, mature man like watching you. Very seasoned. I'm hearing well endowed. Whoo, shit. So, yeah, like just know that if you start a new job or something like that, it's a mature man in that office that has their eye on you. Okay. They not even going to be able to resist it. I feel like for some of you, his, I feel like whoever this masculine man, this mature man is, his hair, because the mature man is like emperor energy. So I don't feel like his, he may have some gray. I don't feel like all of it is gray, but I definitely feel like he has this, whatever this is called. I guess that's what a goatee or something. I feel like he has that. So I don't know. That's exciting. And that's what I was saying, like, in the beginning of this reading, I was just like, I feel something good is coming. Because uh, what was the download that I got? God's favor hit different. So, yeah, it's just like, collective, you got options. But I'm telling you, the one that God brings to you is going to be just so perfect. Like, oh, my God. Like, yeah, I'm hearing whoever this mature man is that you haven't met yet. Because for some of you, this man is at a new job. If you've been waiting to start a new job and shit, I feel like whoever this mature man or mature woman is, is at that job, at that workplace. That's where you're going to meet this person at. And there, he had on that pea coat and shit. So this person dresses nice um, with the globe there. He's professional. He's uh, experienced. He's cultured. He's smart with all them books that was in the background and shit. Let me see if I can find that card again. Where did it go? Where did it go, y'all? I feel like some of you intuitively know that you're going to meet somebody at this new workplace. Like I said, you can feel something in your energetic field. Like you may not know exactly what it is, but it's there. Now, why can't I find this car all of a sudden? Oh, here it is. Mature man, yeah. And he's, it's a five up here. You know, fives can be, it's 1919 on the timer, but fives can indicate like change. So like, that's what I'm saying. Like this man is going to change your whole, like he's going to come in and change everything. Whoever this mature man is, you're going to be like, oh my God, thank God I didn't talk to Ricky, Bobby, Mike, and whoever the fuck else. 
you're gonna be like oh my god yes like this man is so fine look at him just mature just look he got his legs crossed and shit just very calm very laxed in his energy experienced seasoned smart educated well dressed well endowed like whoo you're gonna be like this is grown man energy <laughs> Like, yes, okay. I'm gonna leave him out here, okay? Yes. Give me one more. That's what I'm saying, man. I feel like it's temptation out here. I feel like, collective, you've been getting hit on by a lot of people, or you will be in October. But I'm telling you, like, if you've already been practicing abstinence or celibacy, just hang on, okay? Hang on. Don't settle for one of these kings or these knights and shit that's just horny and want to fuck some. I'm telling you, this man that you're going to meet at this new job or this office setting, some of you can meet this man like in a libra library somewhere where it's a lot of books and shit. Like, I'm telling you, you're going to meet this man and he's going to be looking dead at you and you're going to be like, who, me? And you're like, yep. And you're going to be like, oh, thank God I waited because like I said... It says your contagious is out here. Whoever these kings and knights and these thirsty ass dudes is, one of their asses is burning. So you don't want to make the mistake of slipping up and sleeping with one of these people. And when I this message that I'm talking about is more so for singles. If you are in a relationship, I just feel like you and your person are not talking to each other for whatever reason. But these are singles that I'm talking about that are waiting for somebody or they feel like they're ready to be in a relationship. You got all these thirsty ass motherfuckers who ain't about shit. Some of them, they got something and all of that. Like, don't even waste your fucking time. Like, I promise you. Like, you are going to have a mature man or a mature female that is just, like, exactly what the fuck you're looking for. And my spirit guys are saying exceeds expectations. Like, this man or woman is going to mark off everything on your list, on your, t like, and then some. It's just like this person is going to be the whole fucking package. Like, you're going to be in, you're going to be like, oh, my God, I'm glad I waited. Like, <laughs> real shit. All right, give me one more message. Yeah, despair. Yep, and then this is your ex. I told you. It's somebody out here who's in fucking despair. Number 32, that breaks down to a 5-2. So we got 5-5 five, five right here. I'm telling you, it's some big change happening. I'm telling you. You got this new person coming into your life, and then you got an old person out here that is in complete fucking despair. This person may be looking for a job, can't find one. They may be unemployed. They're stressed out, just going the fuck through it. And collective... We just don't got time for that. Because look at you on the bottom of the deck. Privileged lady. Okay. The privileged lady with the mature man. Yes. Look at that. And gift. And mature woman. And sudden wealth. Ooh, girl. Yes. Your counterpart is here. We got mature man, mature woman. This is what you've been waiting for. I'm telling you, hold out, collective. Hold the fuck out because this is already in your energy. Like, it's getting ready to approach you. Gift, sudden wealth. This is like money, relationship, new job. I'm talking about all the blessings are finna pour in for you, collective. Like, I'm not even fucking joking. Yeah, then you got some haters in the motherfucking community. False person with the community. You got some haters out here. This is your ex. And this raggedy bitch that he fuck with, or this could be some ex friend that you don't fuck with, and some retarded ass man that she deal with. I'm telling you, fuck these people from the past in the community and shit, cause you, everything that you desired is getting ready to come in. I know some of y'all are like impatient. You like, damn, I'm tired of fucking waiting. Like, what the fuck? And I'm telling you, it's like getting ready to come in. I'm telling you, everything. That you've done all the lessons, everything is fin to be like collective. You just finna get blessed. Just know that 24 24 on the timer. Yes, it is coming. Only signs we got out here is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius so far. 
privileged lady is like empress energy so it could be like libra taurus out here too hold on y'all okay What zodiac signs do we have for the collective? Capricorn, I'm telling you, man, this card keeps coming out. When I say, like I said, some of you, your ex could be a Capricorn. But like I said, for some of you, this devil energy is lurking. It needs a body. It needs a vessel. Devil energy needs somebody or someone to work through. Okay? You hear the horn? This, this energy cannot attach on to you unless you open the door. Fuck these people from the past. Fuck these low vibrational people. Fuck these weird ass men or women that's trying to sell you a dream or they're over hyper sexual. Like these type of energies, I feel like you'll be able to easily identify because these people are like too horny. It's like they just want to have sex with you so bad or, or they talk about sex too much. I feel like that's going to be a red flag as to uh -uh, you not it. Devil energy is lurking. Okay. Is trying to find something to attach itself to. Again, like I said, don't let it be you. Don't let it be you. This previous lady got, she got a white dress on. Keep your purity. Because like I said, some of you are born again virgins technically since you've been on your celibacy journey or your abstinence, whatever. You haven't been tampered with at all in a while down there. Don't lose your purity, especially you nuns, okay? We part of the convent. We don't get down like that, okay? If you're not ready for a real commitment, you're not ready to really settle down and build a stable foundation and a solid life, then you just not it. I'm telling you, you got devil energy lurking. These these knights and these kings out here that are like hypersexual and shit and just want to have sex with you, they are just like test they are distractions don't let the devil energy distract you because the devil ain't gonna come the devil doesn't come in something you don't want the devil always gonna show up in something that you do want something that's irresistible something that's sexy something that's fine something that's just like something you desire but use your discernment ask your spirit gods and pray over each and every single person that you meet Tell God to reveal these people's intentions towards you because this person is not it. I really feel like this new person that you're going to meet is going to be at this new workplace or you're going to meet this person in some sort of professional setting. So it's not going to be somebody that you met in your inbox off of Instagram or Facebook or none of that. I feel like when you first meet this person, it's going to be like in person, like face to face in an office, in a building, somewhere where it's professional. Okay. Um, we got Saturn out here too. So yeah, this devil energy, Saturn, this is double Capricorn energy. Somebody, I mean, this is these, these devil low vibrational people are going through their Saturn return. Okay. They're, they're going to their, they're going through their Saturn return where they have to learn these spiritual lessons. And a lot of them are just trying to escape. They don't want to, they don't want Saturn to teach them these hard life lessons that they've been avoiding all this fucking time because had they not been avoiding the shit they wouldn't be in this energy trying to escape it so these people these devilish people low vibrational people are trying to latch on to people of the light so that they can escape their karma you're not escaping no motherfucking karma around here mm -mm. Privileged lady, the collective, our standards are too high now. We didn't raise the fucking bar. These type of people don't still fucking stand a chance. They have to stay back here in that old cycle and learn them fucking lessons, period. Ain't no way around it. Ain't no shortcut. Ain't no workaround. Ain't no side avenue. Ain't no back way. Ain't no alley. None of that. 
But these people are trying their fucking best. They like, oh, I got to hurry up and find me somebody. I got to hurry up and, and go somewhere and do something because I don't want to be in this toxic energy. I'm telling you that karma turn they ass up. These, these devilish, low vibrational people are just like, it's like frantic. They're all just scurrying around trying to find somewhere to go. Like, no. I'm telling you, these people are desperate. They're going to tell you exactly what you want to hear. I'm talking about shapeshifters, mind games, all the dumb shit. They're going to try it. You know the car. So Capricorn, you're out here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Taurus. Sagittarius. Pisces. Virgo. Bottom of the deck, we got fire. So Sagittarius, Leo, Aries is out here. Mm-hmm. Shit. Oh shit. I just dropped some cards, but one flipped over. This is the one that flipped over. The nine of cups. I'm telling you, collective, you're gonna be so happy. Right now, you're even happy, collective. Like you, a lot of you collective, you're single, okay? But you're single and content. Like you're like at home, chilling. You got drink, you got smoke, you got Whatever the fuck it is that makes you feel comfortable at home, you got it. Nine of Cups, like you have everything you want. The only the only thing you missing is probably this counterpart, uh, your person, like a relationship. But other than that, Nine of Cups, a lot of y'all collective are happily single. Like you don't got nobody fucking up your energy. You don't got nobody getting on your nerves. Like you're just happy and content. Eating what you want, doing what you want, going where you want, just kicking it and shit. So, yeah, look at you, Queen of Wands. They ain't got the nerve to be fine on top of that, just looking the fuck good, okay? You got these motherfuckers stressed the fuck out. Ooh, wait, they know they didn't fuck up with you, collector. Look at that. <laughs> y'all are sitting in y'all power, baby. Confident. Just looking good, luxurious, skin glowing, just confident. Like, whew. let's see what's going on with the collective today. It's like people are attracted to this confident energy that you're in. It's like irresistible to some of these people, but it's just like most of these people ain't about shit. It's one mature man out here that's going to be, they're going to see your worth like instantly. As soon as they see you, they're going to know. And then the pursuit will begin. This person is going to treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated with the mature man. He has experience. So he's going to know, he's going to know what to do with somebody like you. So since this man is seasoned or this woman, they've had their fair share of hoes and you know, they didn't been through their player phase already. So when they see a woman of quality and value and high honor, they know how to recognize this. 33 on the timer. This person may end up being 33 years old for some of you. That would be somebody that's older than you because some of you could be younger than 33. Yeah, let's see. Devil Corey, it's definitely a toxic ass Capricorn out here somewhere. And then we got Scorpio out here as well. Then we got the Ten of Swords reverse. So some of you are still healing. You're still recovering from that previous cycle. And there's nothing wrong with it. Like self-care, continue healing with the Ten of Swords reverse. I'm talking about that was a rough ass cycle. You know, a lot of shit happened to you or whoever you were dealing with. They were just doing shit to you constantly and repeatedly to the point where you just was just in a really low place. Um, and now you finally recover from that, healed from that. You're getting back to you. You're happier. You're in love with life again. You're in love with self again. You, your, your, your relationship with the most high is stronger than ever. It's just like, it's literally nothing to worry about. It's nothing to like, it's nothing. You know what I say? It's just all good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Then we got the devil reversed. So this is definitely a Capricorn energy. Um, if it's not a Capricorn, like I said, it's somebody out here that's fully submerged in this devil energy. Whoever this energy is, this is somebody who couldn't overcome their vices. So this person is fully submerged in their drug addiction, alcohol addiction, sex addiction. Like somebody's, somebody's shadow side has completely taken over them. Okay, this person didn't want to do the work they refused to do the work or they just felt like they couldn't and then they just went back to their old ways but i feel like it's even more worse now than it was before like whatever vices that this person had when you were dealing with them i feel like it's gotten even worse so if this person was like a heavy weed smoker this person could probably now do like hard drugs or not narcotics now um if this person like drank liquor every day or say they drunk like uh, i don't know what to use as like a malt liquor beverage but say this person drunk beer every day now this person is drinking vodka every day it's like something here has gotten worse for somebody like real shit for some of them this could even be an std so say like Say this person caught an STD before, but it was curable. Now this person didn't caught an STD or contracted something that they can't get rid of. It's like this person has like downward spiraled for some of you. Like they're fully submerged in low vibrational energy, period. And then we got the five of cups reverse out here. Like I said, collective, you're healed from this shit. Ten of swords reverse and the five of cups reverse. You are fully recovered from whatever this relationship was that you had with this low vibrational ass person. Like you're fully recovered. You're not sad. You're not jaded. Like I feel like a lot of y'all, y'all still have a lot of hope and faith when it comes to love that you're going to find a new relationship, a new person. You're still going to be happy. You're still going to have that family life that you dream of and desire. Like you're completely and totally healed and unbothered from this previous situation. And I'm talking about at least to the point where you don't feel no type of way about whoever this past person was. It's like you straight cool on them. Death card. Change is here. Like this shit, this relationship, this toxicity, it is completely over with the death card. When it, the, the death is a major arcana. When this card comes out, that means something is over and it's never coming back. Like it's done. Like, you can even go back to that past situation if you wanted to. It's, like, non-existent. It's, like, that relationship, whatever that shit was that you had with this person is, like, not even a thing anymore. It's nothing to go back to, even if you wanted to. That's over. Just, like, your life is changing collective. This person's life has changed. But your life has changed for the better. This person's life has changed for the worse. It's like, it's not even no wiggle room to try to like go back and fix some shit or like nothing. It's literally like over. The The energy has shifted too much. Like, it's nothing that you can do with this person or this situation. Mm. So why is the devil reversed? Hold on. And this is that devil reverse is like a full obsession too. Somebody here is completely fucking obsessed with you. Collective. Somebody here is like obsessed with you. Yeah, moon card. I'm telling you, this person is like lurking in the shadows. Look at this devil card with the moon. This person is lurking in the, in the shadows. They have a lot of suppressed anger, um, a lot of suppressed emotions. Um, this person is confused with the moon card. They're lost. Uh, this person is having anxiety. I feel like this person is scared. It's just like... So much shit has happened for them, happened to them since they left you collective and not in a good way to the point where this person is fully submerged in their vices and they're, they're scared about what the fuck is getting ready to happen next. It's like they're scared of the unknown. They're scared of their own shadow. Mm. 
this person could be having bad dreams as well too with the moon card like you see them too i don't know what the fuck these things are it looks like coyotes or something but it could be a scorpio cancer pisces with the moon card but this person is having like bad dreams or nightmares and shit yeah i'm hearing this person is afraid to go to sleep so this person could suffer from insomnia that's the moon card here There are four wands. Is something going on with this person's stability? Or like I said, if this person lives with someone, them and this person is not getting along. Four of wands reverse and the two of swords. They're not getting along. Somebody is having to move out or they got kicked out. They got evicted or is something here going on with this person's stability? Um, Where did that card go? Where's that other card? I don't know where that other card is, but I know despair had came out here too. So whoever this toxic person is, I feel like for some of them, they could even be homeless. This person may not have anywhere to go. Because with the four of wands reverse, that that could that could talk about like getting kicked out of a home environment um, where you're just not getting along with the people in the household or the people that you live with. But like I said, they could be going through some sort of divorce with the four of wands reverse. It's something going on with this person's stability, like real shit. Where they live with somebody and they don't want to be there. Why is the four of wands reverse? This is definitely a twin flame shit with the four of wands. So that's the person that you thought was your twin flame when this person was just really like a karmic soulmate. But for a lot of you, I feel like, yeah, look at that. Hermit card reverse. This person is suffering from depression. They're not going within. They're not looking in the mirror. They're not taking accountability. This person is just like depressed. They're suffering from depression and they're extremely fucking lonely. For some of you, uh, this could be a Virgo, but this person has been cast out. I'm hearing like their friends don't want to fuck with them or the friends they thought they had don't want to fuck with them. Families not fucking with them. Whoever this was, they was in a relationship with not fucking with them. Like this person has no one, literally. It's just like them and these fucking scary ass nightmares that they're having, literally. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Why is the Hermit card reverse? And like I said, for some of you, this person has something with the Devil card reverse and the Hermit reverse. Like, this person may know there's something going on down there with their private area, but they don't want to go to the doctor and see what that is. It's like they're too scared. Moon card. They don't even want to know what the fuck is going on down there with them. So this person just walking around burning and itching and shit. Woo. <laughs> yeah, they're playing that um barps that uh that little TV show. It's like a cartoon within a cartoon. So y'all know the Simpsons, right? But like Bart used to watch that cartoon, the itchy and scratchy show. <laughs> Like, that's what my spirit guys are saying. Like, what the fuck? Okay, hold on, y'all. I hate getting sidetracked when I'm doing y'all readings and shit. But look, after a certain time, I'll be having to multitask if y'all want this daily reading every day. Okay. Um, but yeah. But yeah, this person, man, whoo, what the fuck? Why is the hermit card reversed? Yeah, Seven of Cups, it's a reality check for this person. Like, the fun and games is over with. No more illusions. No more selling people dreams. No more confusing people and casting illusions. Seven of Cups reverse. For some of you, this could be a Pisces. 
with the seven of cups reverse but yeah it's like this person doesn't have any options either so if like this used to be somebody who used to get a lot of women or get a lot of bitches or get a lot of niggas or whatever the fuck case may be that's not even a thing anymore seven of cups reverse like motherfuckers are not interested in this person but it's their energy, like whatever this energy is that they're in, where they're just depressed and anxious and all of this, that's turning people off. So it's like if this person does approach anyone, it's just like, I don't know, it's like people are picking up some weird ass energy off of this person where they're just like, no, I think I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -mm. I the seven of cups reversed. Yeah, Empress Reverse. So Libra Taurus energy out here. Yeah, this person can have a baby mother, a low vibrational baby mother that's attached to them as well. Or they could have got whatever this disease is. They could have got this shit from this Empress Reverse. Somebody who literally has no self-worth. This is the same bitch that wanted to be just like you. I'm telling you, this is this. This Empress Reverse is the person that your person left you for that was trying to be like you. The Empress Reverse, if she's a mom, she doesn't take care of her kids at all. She doesn't take care of herself. The Empress Reverse is somebody who puts everybody else's need before her own, before her own. So she doesn't know anything about fucking self-care, self-love, self-worth. Like that shit is non-existent with the Empress, Empress Reverse. Let's see, why is the interest reverse? Yeah, two of pentacles reverse. I'm telling you, somebody here is not being juggled anymore. Like, no more juggling. Like, these people had a third party. It was some sort of third party. It's like whoever this past person is and whoever the person is that they they were with, nobody are fucking with these two people. Like, nobody are fucking with these two for whatever reason. Then we got the two of pentacles reverse. So whoever this empress reverse is, she ain't got no money. Like, two of pentacles reverse, she didn't burnt bridges. Like, the two of pentacles upright talks about robbing peter to pay paul so you can stay afloat on your bills and shit like maybe you may have to ask somebody to borrow money or something like that just until you get paid or until you can pay them back and shit like asking somebody for a favor with the two of pentacles two of pentacles in reverse she ain't even got nobody she don't have nobody else that she can even ask for money because either she don't pay people back i mean the two of pentacles uh reverse can indicate credit card debt as well so her her credit cards can be maxed out if she has any it's just like something it's like her her home environment isn't stable four of wands is in reverse and the two of pentacles is in rever is reverse too that's probably why these two people not talking to each other because it's just like bitch we got bills rent doing shit they got car problems with the chariot reverse this could be a cancer it's like they got car problems and shit. It's like everything that could go wrong is going wrong. But it's because they took the wrong path. Cherry reverse. They didn't want the most high to order their steps. They decided to do what they wanted to do. And it's led them down the wrong path. It's then led them to chaos and, 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 and all kind of just shit. It's just like their life is out of control now. All this toxic shit, all these bills, all this shit has spiraled out of control, literally. Two of Pentacles reverse with a chariot reverse. They could need some money for some, some some sort of repair or something on their car. They don't have the money for that, so their car has to stay broke down or not working or whatever the fuck this is that they need for this car. It's just like these people literally chose to go down the wrong path with the chariot reverse. How's the five of cups reverse? Yeah, queen of cups reverse out here, cancer. Pisces, Scorpio, like for some of you collective, this could be you. It's just like you don't have no more love for the situations. It's like your feelings for this situation are completely fucking gone. Like 
It's like when you think about this person, it's like you don't feel anything. Queen of Cups reverse, you don't feel anything for this person, for this situation. Like you don't miss this person. It's like nothing, nothingness. Queen of Cups reverse. But the Queen of Cups, if that isn't your energy, that could be somebody that's emotionally manipulative. Yeah, tower card on the bottom of the deck. It could be Scorpio female, but some like somebody's shit, they got exposed. Tower card. Oh, shit. Yeah, or this King of Pentacles, Cancer. I mean, not Cancer. It could be a Cancer because I said that, but King of Pentacles is um Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This Earth sign could get exposed for something here. Let's see. Why is this Queen of Cups reverse? Queen of Cups is somebody who's emotionally manipulative. Somebody who does not, the, the Queen of Cups does not know how to manage their emotions. This is somebody who is just emotionally unstable. They could be a drinker, um, like an alcoholic or does some sort of drugs or something. Uh, this person is whiny, always crying, manipulative, damsel in distress. Oh, can you help me or not? It's like this person always got some sort of sad song or sob story I'm hearing. That's the Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah, Five of Swords reverse. I'm telling you, something backfired on her ass. This bitch was trying to be in secret competition with you, trying to win at all costs, trying to one up you, trying to mind fuck you or whatever the fuck. For some of you, this could be a friend. Somebody that you don't fuck with no more because the five of cups reverse with the uh, queen of cups reverse is the six of cups reverse. So this is somebody from your past, a past friend, a past relative that you don't fuck with no more. This person is drinking all in their feelings and shit because something backfired on their ass. If they were in secret competition with you, trying to compete with you and shit on the low instead of learn from you because they feel they don't, they didn't know how to express that you inspired them. Instead of just admitting that you inspire them and they want to learn from you, this person rather chose to compete with you and shit. That shit didn't work. The five of swords is in reverse. Now this person feels defeated. Nothing that they tried to do worked. Not mind games, not none of that. Like for some of you, I'm hearing this person could have tried to ignore you. It's like they tried to ignore you or cash you out to make you feel some type of way. That didn't work. Why is the Five of Swords reverse? Yeah, the Lover's card. For some of you, this person could have had some sort of secret feelings for you and shit. Um, but others of you, this person was in secret competition with you over a relationship. Could be over your divine counterpart. This person was jealous of the fact that this person was jealous of the bond and the chemistry that you and your ex person had. They were really jealous of that. They knew that this shit was a divine union. So they did whatever they could with the five of swords to try to sabotage this shit because they were a fucking hater. But it didn't work. Now they sitting here in defeat, crying, drinking, just a fucking mess in the lover's car. And then the relationship still stands. Like, you're still going to get this counterpart. You're still going to be in a relationship. It's like this person tried to just ruin love for you completely. Like, I don't know what the fuck this person's problem is. Like, I don't know why they think you don't deserve love or... Like, how you think you going to ruin somebody's love life and, like, to the point where they're never going to meet anyone or have anyone or, like... You know? Like, that's just such weird bitch behavior. It's like, who the fuck are you to think that the collective doesn't deserve love? I bitch, mean, have you lost your mind? I'm telling you, people just get weirder and weirder by the fucking day. Or like I said, whoever your ex is, whoever your ex is, I'm telling you, they got some sort of STD or something. Like, I'm really picking up on that strongly because this person doesn't want to go to the doctor or they did and they're, like, ashamed, so they're hiding with the moon cord. But whoever this bitch is that tried to sabotage this connection between you and your ex, I'm telling you, all this shit was divinely orchestrated. So this Queen of Cups reverse, 
tried to sabotage a relationship with you and your ex. So basically, this could have been a woman that came in between you and your person. And this is the karmic, this Queen of Cups reverse is the karmic that your uh, masculine or your feminine chose to go towards or chose to be with or chose over you. And I feel like your ex then went and got some sort of STD from being a cheater, being a liar, being a player. And he took that shit back to the Queen of Cups or she took that shit back to him. It's something weird going out here because we got... Um, we got a Queen of Cups reverse with an Empress reverse and the Devil card reverse. That Devil card reverse is your ex that's fully submerged in their toxic energy. Yeah, fully submerged in their toxic energy. And I don't know. It seemed like all these people were in cahoots. This Queen of Cups reverse could be like a friend or somebody. Like I said, they tried to compete with you or something weird. And that shit didn't work. Like she could have linked up with this Empress reverse. So this is like, so say, so say collective, like you was in a relationship with your divine feminine, your divine masculine. And then you had a friend that you used to be cool with or a cousin or a sister or something. And like, you know, you used to bring your divine masculine, your divine feminine around your family and shit. So this Queen of Cups reverse and your DM or your DF met each other once upon a time. I feel like when you and divine masculine or divine feminine fell out, whoever this Queen of Cups reverse energy is, this sister, this cousin, this best friend got into cahoots with your ex and this karmic that they left you for like, I don't know why your motherfucker would do that type of shit, but that's what they did. And now this motherfucker's in their feelings. Whoever this ex-best friend, this cousin, this homegirl, sister, whoever the fuck this Queen of Cups Reverse is, she was jealous of you. She was a hater. And so to spite you, I feel like she went behind your back and got into cahoots in some sort of way with your ex and the karmic that your ex left you for. And they were doing some weird shit. I don't know. And this didn't backfire on their ass. Hold on, y'all. I'm checking these emails real quick. Why is the lovers reverse? I mean, why is the lovers here? They did all of this just to be sitting in the five of swords reverse. Everything fucking backfired. All this secret competition and all that weird shit is over. And you still end up with the lovers and the ten of pentacles. You still get your divine counterpart. You still get this marriage. You still get this wealthy life. You still get the foundation, the generational wealth, the stability. Everything you want, you still get it. So all of this shit that they did was for nothing. Literally. That's a fucking shame. Like they did all of this and you're still going to end up with a husband, a wife, a family, 10 of pentacles. That's wealth. You guys are going to have kids, dogs, a nice fucking house, cars, everything that you desire you're going to have. Anyway, still, whoever your ex is, for some of you, I feel like that person was supposed to be your divine counterpart. They were supposed to be your divine masculine, your divine feminine. But the moment that they decided to choose the karmic over you, that basically like canceled the divine contract that you and that person had. They made their decision to forfeit y'all's connection. And so the divine had to orchestrate or find you a new twin flame, a new partner, a new soulmate. But you're still going to get this person. You're still going to get it. They did all of this shit for nothing. Out of jealousy, out of hate. Like, what the fuck? Why is the death card here? Like, I just don't understand what be going on in people's minds to make them want to do this type of shit. Like... Like, I've never been that type of person. I literally don't be caring enough to be wanting to do all that. 
It just be like shit. It is what it is. And look at this shit. This whole cycle is over death card. And these people are stuck in this cycle. Like this is the world card. That's Saturn energy. The ring of fire. These people have to learn this lesson. They've been trying to avoid learning this lesson. Doing all this sneaky conniving backdoor type of shit. Just so they wouldn't have to learn this lesson with the world card reverse. And here they are. The fucking cycle is over and they still got to repeat this shit because they didn't learn the lesson these people are literally going insane like real shit that's the world card reverse that's a fucking shame yeah look everything backfired Eight of Wands reverse everything backfire on these people. Ooh. That's Eight of Wands reverse. Yep. All over you, collective. Look at that. Look at that. Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, the Good Witch. This is Glinda, Glinda the Good Witch. Look at you, protected. And you know what's crazy? When I was on my when I was on my way to work this morning, like I was sitting in a stop sign, and like a black cat like ran across the street in front of my car. Look at it. My ancestors were straight up this morning with me when I was on my way to work. I swear I've seen this same black cat this morning. Wow. And I knew something significant because when I seen that black cat, like if you do your research on black cats, they are very good omens. Like black cats or just cats, period, in like Egyptian times were a sign of royalty. If you owned a cat in that day and age, you were wealthy. <laughs> okay, period. So when I seen that black cat this morning, I was like, oh, I was like, okay, spirit, like what's going on today? Because you just don't see black cats every day. So when my ancestors literally show up in physical form in the 3D, I'd be like, okay, something must be getting ready to happen or something getting ready to go on because what's up, y'all? Like, <laughs> oh, shit. Queen of Wands. Oh, my God. Yeah, look at you. Seven of Wands. The, whoo, you so protected. It's not even funny. Seven of Wands. Your spirit, guys, is not finna let nothing and no one touch you. You sit too high now. You you sitting on your throne right next to the most high God. You are protected. I'm talking about if anybody tried to do anything to you, it's going to instantly backfire. Like, instantly. You're so protected right now. It's like crazy. Like real shit. And then the Queen of Wands with the Seven of Wands, that's you standing up for yourself. Like you're setting boundaries with motherfuckers. You letting them know what it is, what it ain't. Like, no, you can't do that. No, I'm not with that. No, da da da. Like you're literally like. And your ancestors are backing you up. It's just like, it's like nothing that these people can do. you nine of cups and this fell out on the floor when i first started and look on the bottom of the deck is the ace of cups i'm telling you y'all are getting ready to be so happy this finna be like fucking happy tears and shit i don't know what's getting ready to happen but it's some sort of really good news okay nine of cups you are gonna feel so happy so content so blessed so just like it's man you gonna be this is like celebration you might fuck around and have you a few glasses of wine like you just gonna be like oh shit like turn up see like y'all gonna be kicking it with y'all spirit guys and shit why is the nine of cups here Look at that in the sun car cup right now. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know what the fuck this is, but y'all are getting ready to be extremely 
fucking happy okay and this whatever this is is divinely protected with the seven of wands nobody can take this from you the seven of wands plus the queen of wands is the eight of wands this is something that's getting ready to take off quickly like i don't give a fuck what it is job career relationship something is getting ready to take off so fucking fast like it's gonna make your head spin two of wands yeah because you decided to take a new path you consciously chose to leave all this old shit behind and move forward. Yep, and these people still going to be trying to return, telling lies and all this shit. And it's just like, they these people are literally crazy. Like, they really, it's like they know what the fuck is going on. They know that this shit is over. The relationship with you is dead. It will not be no reconciliation. They know all of that. It's just that they refuse to believe that. It's like these people don't want to lead they don't want their lives anymore they done made so many fucked up decisions and got themselves in so much fucked up ass shit they don't want they don't want their life it's like i don't want to be here anymore because my life is fucked up now like i don't want to be here like i don't want to be in this body i don't want this life like i don't want any of this because my life is like fucked up like oof. how's the ten of swords reverse I'm talking about nine of cups with the sun. That is fucking complete wish fulfillment. Look at this. Six of cups with the ten of wands. Now all these people from the past missed you. Now they they miss you. They're nostalgic. Now they want to look think of all the good memories. And these are friends, exes, lovers, people that you grew up with as kids and shit, family. Like, this is all kind of people who cast you out and threw you out who are burdened now. Burdened by the shit that they did to you. Burdened by the shit that they said behind your back. Burdened by life. They got problems. They stress. They overwhelmed. They getting ready to fucking collapse. Like real shit. Ten of wands with the six of cups. These people feel like they're carrying all this baggage alone. Yeah, food court, they feel stupid. All the reckless decisions that they made, they feel dumb, especially your ex. Look at him, King of Wands reverse, because he was on some whole shit, being real reckless, just fucking anything and everybody, acting like he was innocent, like he don't never do shit to people or she don't never do shit to people. Like all that shit been backfired. This person is carrying such a heavy load. It's like their life is just. Yeah, and this is you just fucking winning six of wands. Then be careful. We got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Knight of Pentacles, Reverse. This is a moocher, somebody who want to come live off the land, who want to come towards you and act like they want to be in a relationship. Like this is the, the Knight of Pentacles, Reverse is the type of person that if you let this person in your house, they won't leave. So, don't let nobody come stay with you, collective. Fuck all of that. Yeah, three of swords. They're going to be disappointed. Like, um, no, you can't come here. The fuck? You cannot come here. Mm-hmm. The person that ghosted you going to be trying to send you communication. This is just... I'm so over these past people, man. Yeah, this is you. Some of you are waiting to hear back from this job. Seven of pentacles, three of pentacles with the justice on the bottom of the deck. You going to hear from them, though. Seven of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles, you're going to get the job. They're going to tell you the start date when you start training, you get into school, the, you know, justice. You're going to get everything that you need to start this new opportunity, whatever this is. If you have anything going on with court and legalities, justice, Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. This is the Seven, plus, the seven of Pentacles plus the Three of Pentacles is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is out here twice. So whatever this court case is, you're going to win, okay? This is going to be your justice, this job, this wealth, this relationship, this man, this platform, all of this shit. Like your ships are getting ready to come in. Your harvest is getting ready to come in for all those seeds that you planted. Like, and I know like a lot of tarot readers, including myself, we keep saying that shit, but every day it gets closer and closer. I just feel like the trick, the blessings are just trickling in like one at a time but everything that you want i'm talking about you are gonna you ain't even gonna believe that this is your life <laughs> like real shit for some of y'all y'all gonna be like this is beyond what i ever imagined for my damn self okay 
So enjoy y'all. Have a good day. And I will holler at y'all later. Peace.